while keeping prescription drugs out of the wrong hands. That was the goal of today's prescription drug take back day. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers explains why this effort could save lives. Thank you. Appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. Debbie is a caregiver. She came to drop off some old medication from some of the elderly people she looks after. They didn't want expired medication to be sitting around the house just in case they picked up the wrong one or somebody came to visit. She's just one of many people who took advantage of National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. It's a free opportunity. Uh, it's anonymous. We'll take the unwanted prescriptions and then they're subsequently destroyed. There are over 4,000 locations nationwide. Many of them come complete with useful information and toolkits. And once you get rid of your unnecessary medication, you're done. No questions asked. It's completely anonymous. The law enforcement's only here to protect everybody because we are getting oxycodone. Sometimes you get fentanyl. So we want to make sure that no one gets the wrong idea, like they come here and, and take some of these things. It's the 23rd year the DEA has partnered with local organizations to get unneeded and potentially dangerous medications out of the way. So we want to get medications out of people's medicine cabinets and to have them safely disposed of so it's environmentally friendly and it keeps it out of the wrong hands. Over 107,000 people died last year as a result of prescription drug poisoning, according to the DEA. We want to get them off the street. As advocates and law enforcement work to cut down on the tragedy of an ongoing epidemic. Those deaths that are occurring uh, every minute throughout the country, and it's someone that we know, someone we love, and we're trying to make a difference. Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. And volunteers with Operation Medicine Cabinet said they collected about 800 pounds of prescription drugs in Hillsborough County today.